Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little DIY project, namely making up this little uh, USB powered uh, up to three watt LED flashlight. So for this, I've etched this fairly primitive PCB. Uh, we're just going to have some resistors here to drop our uh, two and some volts from the five volt supply. And then we're going to be having our uh, three watt LED placed on the larger heatsink on the back. Uh, for this, I'm using these kind of uh, bead type, uh, one watt or three watt sized uh, LEDs. These are just uh, off Banggood, I don't know, like five bucks for 50 pieces. So super cheap, but again, super powerful too. So this thing, you know, three watts is probably going to be way over its sort of thermal uh, capacity to dissipate heat. But you know, if you run this at one, one and a half watts, uh, you will get really good light out Output and it might actually survive. So it has this sort of thermal pad on the back and the anode and cathode on uh, these uh, uh, feet coming off the sides. And then we just have our bog standard uh, USB-A male connector that we're going to start on here. And then I have a nice uh, 3D printed case for that. So to start off, we need to figure out our uh, sort of uh, dropper resistors. Uh, I've made up 10 uh, positions on this board here. Uh, since the LED, it's going to drop like three volts or 2.8, uh, then our uh, resist or our uh, leftover uh, voltage from the five volts is going to be 2.2 volts. And if I use these, uh, what is it, 22 uh, ohm resistors, then every resistor I add to the pad is going to give me 100 milliamps of uh, power. So I can tune this uh, light anywhere uh, up to how many positions did I put in? One, two, three, four, five, so 10. So I can put up to one amp through here. So uh, with the LED running at around three volts, so if I put an amp, we're going to be right over our sort of three watt uh, supposed capacity of this LED, but that will definitely uh, kill it fairly quickly through heat. So I'm going to just go with five uh, 22 ohm resistors here. That'll give us about half an amp of current there, one and a half watts on the LED. So that should work fairly nicely. So let's uh, just get to putting some flux on these positions here. So just dab that on. I've really found this sort of 3D printed dispenser to be very helpful, especially when you're using these sort of syringe type uh, flux cartridges. That way you're not fighting the uh, plunger and whatnot. So we're going to need just a bit of flux onto here. That should be all we need from that. Bring in our trusty uh, mobile iron, uh, battery power from little, and we can peel back some of these resistors. Sort of uh, heat dissipation wise, as you can see, I've put on a fairly large um, pad on the top where the LED is going to be sitting. And then I have a fairly large copper area around the uh, resistors too, because they are going to be giving off quite a bit of heat. So just get these little SMD components up here. Can grab a little bit of solder. And get those situated. And having like uh, this little USB powered flashlight, um, it's actually quite useful. You can stick it on your power bank, you can stick it on your computer, you can stick it like even on my portable oscilloscope. There's a, a USB port you can add on there. So any sort of tool that nowadays has uh, USB ports, you can run this little light just for that little bit of extra sort of background um, light. So I'm just going to be unsymmetrical here and pop this one on top just for sort of thermal reasons. 
get just a little bit more solder. Pop that fat on there, and then let's go through and stick down the other ends. These quarter watt resistors should be pretty okay at the currents they'll be flowing. So what was it? 2.2 uh, volts at 100 milliamps each. So that's 0 0.22 milliwatts. That should be perfectly acceptable. So let's get our um, USB connector here. Just forgot to flux these ground pads. Make sure that's stuck down nicely. So let me just get that situated. The nice thing about uh, being able to etch your own boards is that you can sort of come up with a sort of design like this and actually bring it to prototype stage quite quickly and you know especially with the 3d printer you really have the capacity to you know within a couple of hours actually make up a, a decent looking product so i'm having trouble getting these uh, side ground pins to stick that should work now if i don't burn myself too badly there we go that little bit of extra shouldn't be a problem and should give us a little bit of thermal capacity to, to keep the heat down on the rest of the board. So just going to solder up the other leg. If we can get that to take, there we go nice little pool of solder there and then we have our pins here yep that's plenty and help us wick away the heat so of course the two central data pins are not important at all but it'll give the usb connector a bit of extra stability so it doesn't rip off as you can see way too much solder but you know that never hurts in my designs. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this thermal grease and put just a tiny amount on the back of the LED and put a little bit onto the area where it's going to be on the PCB just to give it that little bit of extra help dissipating uh, all that energy. So let me just think which way this needs to be pointed polarity wise. So we'll have our positive pin, our anode to the left and our negative pin to the right. So hopefully I don't mush both the flux and the thermal compound around too much. That pretty much centered there. So let me solder that down. Oh, that looks good enough. And let's get our other pin here. So here we have our PCB all nicely soldered up, ready to go. So let's uh, get our power bank and test that out. So nice, our light works. You can see it's quite bright. Uh, maybe not with all the studio lighting, but definitely strong enough to light up a room for sure. So obviously these resistors are gonna get quite hot and this LED. So for that purpose, I've designed this sort of little uh, casing uh, with uh, enough air cooling to make it survive. So uh, just 3D printed in some black PLA. I'm just going to pop the board in the back here. And I've mounted these sort of little studs that uh, will keep it encased. So we just snap that together. 
And this is a really nice way to sort of make uh, quick 3D printed um, cases or whatnot with these studs so you don't need any screws or anything. You can just push it together and you can snap them back apart. So yeah, there's a little bit of alignment issues with the LED, but that's perfectly fine. The lens is still exposed. We have uh, good air cooling through the vents and we have our exposed uh, USB here. You even manage to get a bit of text printing on the uh, vertical edge of the print. So when we plug this in here, we have our nice and steady uh, flashlight that you can hook up to a power bank or whatever USB source you happen to have. Let's check our uh, sort of current draw. So we have five uh, 22 ohm resistors, so we should have 500 milliamps of current. And when we plug it in, we're just a bit below that at 0.4 amps. So that should actually be quite good in uh, keeping this thing just a little bit cooler than the half amp uh, draw we predicted. So here I have a uh, sort of first prototype that I made up just uh, in white. As you can see, you know, nice and light to be able to carry around, stick it into sort of any USB uh, port you might need and have a decent little light around. So as far as temperature goes, of course, if we let this run uh, just a bit longer, it's going to get much hotter but you know just after a few moments of running we're at 40 on one side and we're at you know 50 degrees climbing on the back of the board so this thing will definitely get hot probably on the uh, board and heatsink itself probably even up to 80 90 degrees but i've had these leds this one actually has uh, six resistors on the board so closer to about uh, the half amp of current draw and um, i've measured it i believe at like a hundred and some Celsius, 105, 110 on the backboard, and the LED was still going strong and even like running it uh, for half an hour when it uh, sort of balanced out uh, in its uh, temperature, uh, you know, no damage to the LED. So these little uh, three watt LEDs, especially if you give them enough heat sinking, uh, they definitely perform quite nicely. So I'm going to be uh, giving away these two uh, little flashlights I made up. Uh, leave a comment below with your most interesting DIY creation you've made, and I'll select uh, two of the most interesting comments in the uh, next week, let's say, until uh, next Sunday, and then I'll send out one of these to each of the winners worldwide, free shipping, no questions asked. So let me know down in the comments what kind of interesting uh, tools and gadgets you've made up. Thank you for watching uh, this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.